Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with Plugin Boutique. And today we're checking out the new plugin by New Gen Audio called Sigmod. This is a utility plugin with tons of great features that you absolutely need if you're a serious producer. And there's actually a couple creative ones that are gonna blow your mind, including adding mid-side processing to any plugin that you have, whether or not it was built in. Also, you can make any plugin a multi-band plugin, whether or not it was built in. And there's also a tap feature, which allows Allows you to do more creative and more flexible parallel processing to your tracks. This plugin is jam packed with utilities for your production process. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Sigmod by New Gen Audio here on PluginBoutique.com. This is Sigmod right here, and it's essentially a utility plugin, a modular utility plugin, in fact, because you can insert modules inside of the signal chain here to affect the audio. And there are going to be three more videos in this series where I go in depth into three of the modules inside of here. If I click this little button and then click this plus button, these are the modules we have available inside of Sigmod. The mid side, the tap, and the crossover modules are gonna get their own dedicated videos because they're really interesting and really open up the possibilities. But essentially what Sigmod is, is a utility plugin that helps expand the possibilities or functionalities of your DAWs or your plugins. So let's just go ahead and run through each of these modules, except for those three, as I mentioned before, and I'll talk a little bit about what they are. So first up is mute solo. If I come out, now I can easily mute the left or the right channel just by clicking right here, or I can link them and mute them both at the same time. And if you didn't know, this is just showing us the signal path for the left and the right channel. So right, goes from here past the mute button here until I turn it on and then as you can see the white line has gone away and that just means the signal isn't getting let through by the mute button. Let's get rid of that. Let's add the phase. If you come in, this is just phase inversion of the signal for the left and the right channel independently. Very useful. Come back out, get rid of it. Next up, mono. This is just a mono switch. Turn it on, mono. Turn it off. Stereo again, very helpful for checking mono compatibility. And another thing too, and I'll point this out right now, is that you can add as many of these as you want. In fact, you can add them anywhere inside of the chain. So I've just added a delay and a switch to either side of the mono button. So a delay is gonna work in samples, so you can delay the left or the right channel independently up to 4,800 samples, or you can link them together and just delay it that way. The switch is going to swap the left and the right channel. See, left is now coming out of the right, and right is now coming out of the left. And as I said before, this is modular, so if we wanted to come in and put the switch before the mono, we could do that easily just by getting rid of it and adding it over here. I'm gonna get rid of those again. And let's just check out the trim, come out. And this is just a trim for the left or the right. And it can go up to plus 20 dB or negative 70. So effectively mute at that point, I believe. And you can link them together if you wanted to. Get rid of that. DC offset, pretty cool here. If I play this track, come in and turn the warp off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the track and hit the detect button and it's going to detect if there needs to be any DC offset added to the signal. So you turn it on, then hit detect while the audio is playing and you can see here we've got a negative 0.13 DC offset applied to the left channel. Jump back out, and the last one is protect, come out. And what this does is we'll mute the audio if it exceeds a threshold. So I've, let's just go ahead and turn it down to negative four. Now, if my I play my audio and it's above negative four, it's gonna completely shut off. You see what happened there? And this is very useful if you put it on zero dB, for example, and you're dealing with a live setup inside of your studio, and maybe you're getting some mic feedback that's about to blow the cones. This will shut things down for you if it gets too loud 
and effectively too loud for your speakers and your ears. This is like an emergency stop button that's automatic and does things by itself. So that's pretty much all of the modules. As I said before, it's a utility plugin that helps get these things to your DAW and to your plugins that don't already have them. In the next three videos, I'm going to show you how to get mid-side processing for any of your plugins. I'm also going to show you how to make any of your plugins a multiband plugin. And I'm also going to show you how to use the tap module, which allows you to do some very unique and creative parallel processing. So that's a quick look at the SIGMOD and some of the more simple utilities inside of it. And as I said before, in the next video, we're going to jump into the more creative and exciting modules that are inside of SIGMOD. So let's go ahead and do that. See you in the next video.